Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Another re-review. 2014 has been the year of re-reviews for me. I think I've re-reviewed more beers this year than I've actually reviewed beers for the first time. I don't know. Anyways, this is a beer you old old school subscribers might remember all the way back to like New Year's Eve of 2009. The first ever appearance of Henry on the show. This is a uh, Shipyard Smashed Pumpkin Ale. I have not had it since then. I just checked untapped. I, if I've had it, I didn't check into it. So it's been almost five years, you know, a good four and a half, four and three quarters years since the last time I had this. Hard to get around here. It comes in August. They get a very small shipment, and once it's gone, it's gone. So uh, just came in last week, and uh, it's a $10 bottle, which is, you know, pretty pricey. At least uh, Southern Tier Palm King is only $8. So anyways, let's get on the review. Uh, when I first poured it, the head did come up to the uh, crown of the of the glass there. It's a beautiful, beautiful orange color. This this camera doesn't really do it justice, but it is pretty much the same orange as the label. Um, if you look on my text, or if you look on my blog, you'll see the, the picture I took in the light box. It'll look great. Anyways, aroma. Mm, I mean, it's a, it's a kind of a cross between the pumpkin pie smell and the pumpkin potpourri smell. Probably a little bit more on the potpourri side. Uh, very, you know, kind of spicy. Yeah, I mean, just the usual, I mean, nutmeg, clove, uh, cinnamon, you know, pretty big cinnamon. It might be bigger on, like, the nutmeg or, uh, yeah, I think nutmeg's probably, like, the biggest of the the usual pumpkin aromas on this one. It doesn't smell sweet. I mean, well, I mean, it smells sweet enough. I mean, it smells it smells really good. It, it doesn't have that super pumpkin pie smell like some of your pumpkin. Anyways, it's been almost five years. Let's dig into this one. Cheers. Mmm. Well, you know what? <clears throat> That's funny because um, Shipyard also makes pumpkin head, which I've always said it kind of tastes like a pumpkin soda. And it's funny because, um, you know, right on the finish there, I got that that exact same flavor, that like pumpkin soda sweetness right on the finish. But I mean, through the whole front and the middle, it is like a, well, I mean, it's not nearly anything like that beer. It's more of a, a much more robust, kind of rich, complex pumpkin beer. It's spicy, it's sweet, but it's not like cloying, it's not like too intense. Hmm. Almost like it's like soda flavor on the finish, but I mean, <clears throat> like I said, pumpkin soda. Maybe it's like some other kind of soda flavor I'm thinking of. It's almost like a. You know what it is? It's like a ginger ale flavor. That's probably one of the spikes that's it. There's probably ginger in here. I should probably read the bottle. Maybe they say what's in here. Uh, pale ale, wheat, and light Munich malts, and the natural tannin and pumpkin, and the delicate spiciness of Willamette, Hallertau hops. This. It does not say what um, actual spices are in here. It does say pleasing aroma of pumpkin and nutmeg, and I agree with that. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's not as good as Pumpkin, although it's definitely, you know, it's definitely one of the Shipyard's better beers. I really am not a fan of Shipyard in general, because uh, Alan Pugsley, for whatever reason, is crazy about Ringwood yeast. He's like the last brewer in the country, I think, likes Ringwood yeast. Ringwood, I, I, <clears throat> I don't like Ringwood. It just tastes, everything makes everything taste like butter. Okay, so yeah, up front, the whole first half, it kind of reminds me of your typical, any other, <clears throat> any kind of generic uh, pumpkin beer. Actually, it kind of reminds me of like Saranac or like Post Road Pumpkin, that's one Brooklyn does, you know, it's made by Saranac. Um, <clears throat> any of just like any normal run-of-the-mill brewery doing any kind of normal 5% ABV pumpkin beer. That's, you know, it's pretty much what you get here. It's not, you know, I mean, this is a 9% beer, it's, you know... Pugsley Signature Series, you know, uh, you think you're getting something special. Um, 
it does have a little bit of that kind of pumpkin puree flavor to it, but again, it's not. It does not taste like straight up pumpkin pie, like mm. pumpkin. There's a lot of ginger in it. Um, has that, uh, like I said, the soda kind of sweet flavor. It's kind of a repetitive palate. It's surprisingly mild. That's kind of my beef. I mean, it's nine, it was nine percent ABV. Cost ten damn dollars for this bottle. I thought it was gonna be like way bigger and better than this. And I'm not saying it's a bad beer. It's not. It's, it's a fine beer, but it's not. It's not great. Anyways, let's rate this on rate beer aroma. I think it smells really good. I'll give it an eight out of ten on aroma. Appearance. Um, well, I mean, if it had laced a little bit more, uh, I'd give this a five. But I mean, between the color and the and the initial head pouring, it was a uh, look really good. I'll give it a 4 out of 5 on appearance. Taste, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 on taste. I mean, I think it tastes, like I said, it tastes fine. Um, not too crazy about that kind of soda flavor on it. At least there's no Ringwood character on here. Yeah, I mean, this is basically just ship, uh, this is basically a shipyard pumpkin head, like, bigger, you know. Um... But it, it, that's not what I want in a big 9% pumpkin beer palette. Um, I mean, it's kind of weak sauce for a 9% beer, but otherwise it's easy to drink. This would be perfect with Thanksgiving, any kind of... Uh, you could definitely pair it with pumpkin pie, you know, things like that. Those Any kind of that generic situation. No alcohol presence in the taste, no warmth, which is nice. So, you know, drinkability is pretty high on it. It does not live up to its 9% ABV. Overall, I will give it, um, say a 14, say a 14 out of 20, which is a 3.7 overall, which is a 7 out of 10 on my scale. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would agree with that. Let me see if I can uh, regenerate the head here. I don't remember what I gave it back in 2009. I, I'll go back and rewatch that review. So, I you know what's funny? This thing, it's a damn twist off. You never really see that on on bombers although I think Henry and I mentioned that on our review five years ago so anyways uh, yeah 7 out of 10 for shipyard smashed pumpkin um, if you can find it and it's reasonably cheap I'd recommend it but otherwise stick to something to your pumpkin it tastes just as good this year as it usually does so thanks for watching and I will see you whenever cheers